Good morning, you guys. If we haven't said it already, then Happy New Year. We are well on our way to eating the rainbow because yes. we just started day one of our 14 day challenge that's part of our Eat Move Rest Club yearly membership group. So, with green juice. Yes. So, nice. we are starting with a lot of green. So if you're interested in joining the challenge, all of the information for our Eat Move Rest Club is linked below. Mom, all of the- can I say something? We went for a bike ride. We went for a bike ride yesterday. Max got a big bike from Santa with, this year. With gears. With gears, and so he and I have actually been riding bikes together, which has been so much fun. I'm so I proud of my boy. Something. Go ahead. I have a frozen kiss and so you have a frozen dress. And Liv has a frozen dress because she is obsessed. We've got a boy's boy and a girl's girl. We're having yes, so we're much right. fun. We don't know what baby three is going to be, but it's going to be a win. Let's give this green juice a try, should we? There's a garden in the backyard. And I like picking the basil. There's a shindig in the kitchen. With all of my favorite. So in last week's video, I mentioned my one word for the year being intention or intentional. And a big part of that is just continuing down this path of intentional living. So with that comes simplifying, decluttering, organizing, and yes, almost being into the third trimester of my third pregnancy, also nesting is a part of that. So I definitely felt it kicking in already. I don't know if it's just because here in Florida, it also feels like spring already and yeah. it's only January, but like the combination of being pregnant and it being spring and we desperately need to clean and declutter, especially with two kiddos. Yeah. It's all been just like the hitting last couple really days. hard. I've been like, We've been in this like cleaning and organizing frenzy. <laughs> Taking down Christmas decorations, all the things. Honestly, no joke, right now someone is power washing the house. <laughs> We're getting all the cracks and crevices fixed on the house from the hurricane that happened like a year and a half ago. And you're like, is this nesting already? And I'm like, yeah, I feel like it. I feel like we are. Rather than just continuing to pile things into a storage unit, let's downsize, let's right. simplify, let's clean up what we can. Yeah. And like, I'm learning to be okay with having some empty white spaces that maybe don't need to be filled right away. Just kind of getting back to the basics is a big part of simplifying. And with the food, I think the biggest thing for us right now is, especially with baby on the way, is how can we stock up on a lot of our essentials, the right. basics. So a lot of people over the years have encouraged us to check Costco out. I right. finally did it yep. the other day and I was like, asking you guys, what should we get at Costco? And I was inundated and yeah. overwhelmed by the response of so many people. So obviously you guys are fans. Comment below if you'd like to see a Costco food haul, but And this yeah. won't be just like your typical food haul. It will be a whole foods plant-based food haul. So we're right. gonna see, we're gonna challenge ourselves to see what fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds, yeah. grains and beans, nuts, get. nut butters, like all of the whole food items. We prioritize organic, so we, we buy almost everything organic, so we're gonna look for organic too. So yeah, that'll be coming next week. But again, the main idea here is we just kind of feel like we're stocking yeah. up. Beans, grains, big bags. We converted our cold plunge back into a deep freeze because we actually got a real cold plunge. More on that to come. That being said, we now have space for more frozen food. So mm -hmm. big bags of mangoes and cherries, yes, from Costco that is nice to have, honestly, so. Definitely. That's just like the biggest part of getting back to the basics for us is just keep it simple and straightforward with what you bring into your home and then you won't be tempted and your only options are healthy whole plant foods. Right. So make this simple choice the healthy choice. The kids are eating their leftover waffles. So yesterday I made waffles. You guys, this recipe is everyone's favorite. We hear from people on Instagram and you guys on YouTube that the waffle recipe has transformed breakfast. We love them too, and it's nice because they last at least an extra day in a Ziploc or in the fridge. Our lunches usually aren't huge. Our breakfast is usually a little later and it kind of molds into lunchtime. And we kind of snack throughout the day. So fresh fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, you know, the simple things. Maybe I'll have another waffle here in a little bit. 
And then we've been doing early dinners, so five or 6 p.m. Big breakfast, big dinners, more grazing in between, and another smoothie snack at night. And I like it because it, again, it simplifies our daily busyness. We don't have to take a lot of downtime to cook and prep another meal in the middle of the day. We just focus on a lot of those colorful raw foods. So on our green juice days, instead of doing a green smoothie, we usually do like a berry bowl, like acai bowl, or today we're doing a pink pitaya bowl. This is our bubble gum smoothie bowl that we haven't actually made in a long time, so I'm super looking forward to it. It's in our meal planner and recipe app, so it's got pitaya, strawberry, raspberry, mango, banana, plant protein. It's gonna be really good. So good. Who wants some? Taste uh, test. I did taste test first. Ah. Mm. Yum. It's gonna be so good, you guys. Strawberries are so yummy. I am just posting our Eat the Rainbow Challenge meal to the group, so if you're interested in joining, please join us. On Saturday, I actually led our first live workout with our inner circle group. So it was such a blast. Everybody got such a good sweat. I think I might recreate it for a YouTube video to give you guys a taste of what is included in the membership. We do all kinds of fun lives. We're actually going live this upcoming weekend with a plant-based doctor friend of ours. So there's also lots of experts we'll be bringing on to share their wisdom and knowledge with you guys. Feeling so good and fueled. I'm gonna go out, get my spin shoes on and do a Hit and Hills ride. Today I'm actually gonna do a 45 minute ride, Hit and Hills. Robin Arzon is my favorite. She is just so motivating. It's seriously cold today, so I've gotta get sweaty before I strip down and put my hair up. It doesn't take long though. That was a serious sweat session. So I didn't end up doing any strength afterwards because it was a 45 minute ride and it was seriously intense. The last like 10 minutes was Tabata, which if you're not familiar, is extremely hard. It's really great if you want to boost your metabolism. You do your intervals in a two to one ratio. So traditional Tabata is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. The 10 seconds of rest is not enough, but that's kind of the point. It helps you to really build up your stamina and endurance, really works your heart, and it helps you to burn the most calories possible post-workout also. So just some fun facts for you if you've never tried a Tabata style workout. I just made these yesterday. I always bake something good on Sundays. These are our strawberry banana oat muffins. Sometimes I do them blueberry. Just depends what mood we're in, but they are so good. So there's flax, chia, oats, banana, strawberry. What else is in there? Just a little splash of apple cider vinegar, baking soda, baking powder. They're in the Eat and Move Rest meal planner and recipe app. So definitely check them out. They're a kid favorite too. Forgot to mention why they're great post-workout. They also have um, Sun Warrior vanilla protein in them. So they're super packed full of nutrition. Show me what you're snacking on. A muffin. Is it yummy? Yeah. Good. We just got through a few very rainy days. Bo has been tracking through the house and then we had some workers come to finish some drywall and patch some things throughout the house. Then we just took down Christmas trees and there's little pine needles all over and sprinkles of fairy dust and glitter from Christmas. So needless to say, since we're feeling the cleaning bug, we are going to deep clean now that our surfaces are cleared a little bit. I grabbed out all of our branch basics. Max always gets excited, especially if you're cleaning windows, don't you? It's fun to clean windows. So part of what we like to have done is whenever we leave out of town, we do this maybe two, three times a year. We have a cleaning crew come through and just deep clean to get all the cracks and crevices. And the nice thing is, Having branch basics, we don't need to worry about what they're cleaning with. We have them use our products. So I see these are empty, which means they used a lot and really cleaned thoroughly. So I'm gonna refill these. The nice thing about branch basics is there's just like too many things to even list. 
but most importantly, it's super clean and simple and it's human safe, it's eco-friendly, no synthetic preservatives, synthetic fragrances, alcohols, ethoxylates, parabens, phthalates, or SLS, not tested on animals, it's hypoallergenic and non-toxic, like I said, and it is naturally derived. Getting started, you just purchase one of the starter sets, you'll get either the glass or plastic bottles, we have the glass, and then you just buy your concentrate, which we use to mix all of the different solutions based on what we're cleaning, and then also the oxygen boost. So it's highly, highly cost effective, which is another reason we love it, because this goes a super long way. This concentrate will get you through a lot of cleaning. The oxygen boost works wonders for stains. I mean, we've been eating pomegranates and dark chocolate and stains galore on the kids' clothes green smoothies, wild blueberries. This gets everything out. It works so good. So I'm gonna refill our bottles. We've got streak free, which we use for our glass surfaces. So our glass table and all of the windows throughout the house, which are so marked up with kid fingerprints and doggy drool. And then we've got our bathroom, which you can see is very highly concentrated and all purpose. Mainly I use this one like on our kitchen countertop, any streaks or spots on the floor that need some scrubbing. Couple other cool things, you can wash your dishes with it and I don't know where Viv went with it, but they also have a foaming hand soap dispenser and you can make your own foaming hand soap with it as well. So best part is, you're not compromising on the quality of the cleaning that you're getting. So everything works super well. We've cleaned permanent marker and crayon off of surfaces, stickers that have been stuck on things. There's our soap bottle. Without further ado, I'm gonna pull my hair back and get started on some deep cleaning. Bye guys, <laughs> hope you have a good day. The end. Say, use our discount code to save on Branch Basics. Use your discount code to what? To save on Branch Basics. To save on Branch Basics. <laughs> bye bye Christmas tree. Bye bye Christmas tree. So how much days are we going to get it? 27 days? What are you guys doing? Just having fun! Okay, you guys, I'm seriously sweaty. I was so cold because it's chilly out today, but a couple things. Number one, never underestimate a good cleaning session as a workout. So maybe you feel like you're too busy and there's too much going on and the house is a mess. Well, cleaning also counts as a workout. So kill two birds with one stone, even wear your Fitbit or your Apple Watch and you'd be amazed how sweaty you can get while you clean. Of course, you guys probably know this. You're probably in the same boat as us. A lot of you with crazy kids and a house with dogs and people making messes. So if you want to kill two birds with one stone, work out while you wash. Also, I will say creating content for you guys always helps us to level up our game. It definitely helps. So if you are feeling like you need some motivation, have other people hold you accountable or <laughs> do it for an audience. We always are on our A-game because we want to help inspire you guys. Boost! <laughs> what do you want to say? I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> These are actually Florida strawberries. So I'm gonna do mixed berry bowl on top of a bed of chopped spinach. So it's kind of a salad, it's just like a fruit salad and then squeeze it with a generous helping of lemon. This is such a good snack. The thing I love about cleaning and organizing is it helps my mental health. It helps my mind, my brain to feel clean and organized as well. Sometimes it's almost like I'm not getting rid of as much as I am just reorganizing things into a more efficient way, bringing just the basics to the forefront. So again, back to the basics, whether it's eating whole plant foods, cleaning with minimalist products, 
minimizing the clutter in your everyday spaces. What's helped me tremendously is to compartmentalize. Just looking at your brain and your surroundings as you would a computer desktop. There's a lot of things that don't need to be sitting out on your desktop constantly pestering you. Instead, sock them away into a file folder, label it and save it for another day and just really focus on the most important things at the forefront. Getting back to the basics, that's what Eat, Move, Rest, that's what our channel and our brand is all about. Wanna have another bite? <laughs> Calcium and iron. That's what we do. <laughs> all right, you guys, we are cooking one of our dear friend, Dr. B's recipes from his fiber fueled cookbook. We're starving for what we found here. We're probably gonna tweak it just a little bit to make it our own. And we might actually add it to the meal planner. You guys can find that within our membership. So I started by adding some onion and garlic. I added our spices, dried thyme, some oregano, some turmeric, a little bit of paprika, obviously salt, and pepper, and then a little bit of parsley on top. Followed it with some celery, some carrots, then I chopped one of each, an orange, and a Japanese sweet potato, and then a handful of my golden potatoes. Also added a little bit of coconut cream, and then of course the corn, which is like my favorite. Also chopped a whole head of cauliflower and a whole head of broccoli and added those to the pot. Because this turned out bigger than I thought, I kept having to add salt, but it is so, so good. And like I said, so nutritious. For the kids and myself, I added some cubed avocado, as well as more coconut on top. Aaron and I are thinking we might call it our his and hers soup, because it's got a little bit of everything for everyone, and we all thoroughly enjoyed this one. There are three things we all do every day, and we could all be doing them better. Eat move and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 